Hi again. Thank you for joining me. This is Robin Hyatt. I am going to cover something today, as you can see in the background here. This is Natalie Wood. I do have where I did channel Natalie Wood, but I do have on my lower quarter here that Natalie Wood, I had a dream, and actually it was a super vivid dream. If you hear some growling, it's my dog rolling around on the bed. Um, and so I decided to tape record my dream. Now I'm going to do a disclaimer on this. This disclaimer is that this is just from a dream. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just saying I'm intuitive and it's from a dream. And so just take it for entertainment purposes only. So let me see if I can find it. Also, we are going to be doing, um, I'm going to do some follow-ups. I have two recorders here. This one it's a Panasonic RRUS360. Not sure if it's going to work enough. Then this is a ghost recorder. So I'm going to do some sessions and see if I can get some live readings on these two uh, recorders and see if they work. So we will <clears throat> go through that. So let me see if I can find the Natalie Wood. So let me go with number three. Okay. Oh, not that one. Welcome. Oh. This is cold case. No, nope, not that one. Not that one. It's this one. Okay, I think I found it. Let's see if you can hear this. I'm going to set it right there. And we're going to let it tape. It's about 16 minutes long. It's very interesting. Um, as I say, it's just for entertainment purposes only. Um, it's from a dream I had. So um, I'm very strong when I recorded this. So. This is a recording mm -hmm. February 8th, 2018. I'll be back. I was woken this morning. Uh, you know I have a YouTube channel. Obviously you're listening to this on the YouTube channel. And um, Natalie Wood. I had a vision of her, so I need to to speak this. I need to speak the truth that's coming forward in my vision. So I'm on the boat, and there's the fighting in Natalie's room, and I hear thuds like a body being thrown. I see Christopher Walken standing at his door. His door is open, and he's just standing at the doorway listening because he's concerned but he doesn't do anything he's just listening he hears the the captain the ship captain coming down so he quickly closes his door but he stands at the door to listen he listens to the captain knock on natalie's door robert wagner telling him fine go away I see prior to this, there was a lot of drinking. Robert Wagner, I believe dozens of years came to a head that night. Something just made this man snap and he was not seen straight. He was seen red. He was just completely obliterated with alcohol and whatever substance. The captain was wasted. The only one I don't see wasted is Watkins. Um, when the captain goes, leaves and goes back up on deck, Watkins returns, opens the door and returns and then he steps into the hallway. All of a sudden there's silence. Watkins actually walks into Natalie's room. He sees Robert Wagner leaning over Natalie's body on the floor. She has a gouge in her forehead. She's bleeding. They feel for a pulse and they don't feel a pulse on her. They think she is dead. That is when the concoction of what happens next. 
It wasn't just Robert Wagner, it was Christopher Watkins and Robert Wagner figuring out a plan. So what they do is Christopher Watkins picks up her body. Robert Wagner goes out to the side deck, I guess, where the dinghy is, and they devise a plan of the bottle of whatever wine, champagne was in the dinghy. Um, he, I see Robert Wagner undoing the dinghy. Christopher Watkins is the one that sets Natalie's body into the water, face down. I see Robert Wagner put his hands over his face, run his hands through his hair, um, and not there's nothing spoken. Uh, I see a long, I don't know what it is. It's not an oar, but it's something long and narrow like metal. And I see Watkins pushing the boat out with it. And then I see him pushing Natalie's body away from the boat with it to get it into the current. Um, then what I see is once they see everything's floating out, um, they turn, go back into Natalie's room. They're whispering something to devise a plan. Walken stays in Natalie's room to clean up, to clean up. There's some blood residue um, and to clean up. So he's cleaning up the room while Robert Wagner goes on deck and talks with the, um, the captain on deck. Um, and then once the room is clean, which is, I don't believe it takes him very long, then Watkins goes back into his room and he goes to bed or pretends to go to bed. You have to remember that these guys are actors, so you need to remember that through this whole situation um, because once um, everything gets involved, their acting goes right into play. Um, Natalie, unfortunately, was not dead. She... Um, quickly lifted her head out. The men were in the other room, and I believe the cries for help was when she lifted her head out, gasped for air, and she kind of had a concussion, um, and she started yelling for help, and then the cold and the current got her, um, and her down comforter, or down jacket was, um, very cold so she did not last very long but she was able to muster a couple um, yells for help out um, and unfortunately she passed quickly um, her spirit left quickly once um, her body started to go into hypothermia I believe um, once the I don't know if the ship captain went to find Watkins, I believe um, he did, and that's where he found Watkins in his room in bed, supposedly asleep, which is not true. It was a setup. So I just feel like I had to bring this forward. I believe that the people that are working on this case, that they're reopening this case. What they're doing at this time is they're building a trial case. So you just, Watkins and Wagner need to know that there's a trial case being built against you. Watkins needs to come forward and do a plea deal. I see a plea deal in Watkins' future. Because he didn't kill her, but he's an accessory to murder. So, um, also, I see a trial. I do see a trial coming forward on this, finally. Um, I, I'm a strong person in justice. I, I work on cold cases and I, I feel strongly to give the spirit justice that is murdered. Natalie is one of these that, um, she's come around me several times. So, 
I, what I cannot see is how the trial will turn out. What I cannot see if the trial is finished. It seems like I see the trial going forward. Watkins does a plea deal. Um, Wagner being um, elderly. Um, and, you know, it takes a very big toll. What I do see, which is very important to Wagner, is his reputation. To him, that is very important, obviously, when he had to, um, he's lived with this story all his life, he knows the truth, so does Watkins. Um, but what I do see is that Robert Wagner's reputation will be shot down. He will be, his reputation will be in the mud and it will not be able to be resurrected out of the mud. Um, he will die um, knowing that his whole reputation and his this whole lies and life will come to him in karma and he will die um, a broken man with a broken reputation and um, and that will be the justice. I don't believe Natalie um, wanted any of this. Um, well, of course she didn't want um, what happened to her, but she is what I feel, she is worried about her daughters. So she rather not have this happen because she does not want her daughters to go through this. But unfortunately her daughters are gonna have to go through this. I believe one of her daughters that did not want Natalie to go on this trip and pleaded for her mommy to stay home. I believe there was some sensation of fighting prior to them leaving. Um, some altercations where the little girl was scared for her mother. Um, altercations of Robert Wagner and Natalie prior and I think the little girl sensed that her mommy was in danger because she felt that prior that her mommy was in danger prior to this. Some of the bruises I think were prior um, to the end of Natalie's life. I believe that Robert Wagner just snapped. And I don't know why these two people stayed together. I don't know why they did. And um, I do, I guess I'm gonna put myself out on limb here. I do feel he snapped because Natalie was gonna do a tell all about Robert Wagner. She had had it with him. And she told him, I'm going to tell everyone about you. And I'm not going to go into that. Um, I think a lot of people are speculating exactly what's going on there. But Natalie, that's why he snapped. Because Natalie was going to come forward and ruin his reputation um, to the public. And so... What will happen now is that his reputation will be ruined through this trial. They are building a trial case against Robert Wagner, and um, they're going to find that Christopher Watkins um, was also accessory to murder, um, and that he will do a plea deal. So I guess we'll just see how things unfold. Um, I just ask for many blessings on his daughter um, Natalie is going to be with the daughters and during this time and these daughters need to talk with your mom there's going to be a lot of tears a lot of crying and um, but stay strong um, this is this is this is fate this is going to happen um, I don't see it changing I don't see unless the only thing that would change if something happened to Robert Wagner where he passed prior to the trial. I see him starting the trial. I don't see the trial ending. So I can't see that. So something either happens or um, we're leaving that to destiny.
Check this out. All right, we'll end that. So again, that's just for entertainment purposes only. Um, I decided, since I am intuitive and I do work with cards, I decided to pick up an energy card in this situation for Natalie Wood. Um, it was very interesting. I've never picked this card before. So this is the card that I received for this situation of Natalie's death. And it's called the Temple Path, Spiritual Purpose and Support. Um, receiving this card represents your own spiritual evolution. The winding path you are on leads to a blessed temple in a lovely garden, symbolizing the spiritual destiny. Very interesting on that. Let's see. Okay. Your soul has had in mind for this lifetime of the spiritual destiny. <clears throat> you have to excuse me. Um, it also talks about what you're going through now is a part of your soul's process. You're on your karmic path and heading in the right direction. And the choices you make now are important for your personal growth and life lessons. You can even take that into the spirit. The lights around the temple represent the spirit world. Your family members and friends, angels and guides, all the loving spirit helpers who long to assist you, call upon them and be open in, to their wisdom and inspiration. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a wonderful life expanding time. So keep in mind your personal priorities as well as your spiritual connections. Follow your higher intentions and they will help you move forward from dr dramatic events. Interesting. So I'm going to close this session. Um, I just wanted to put this for um, the listeners. And as I say, it's just from a dream. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. I did forward this to the um, LA uh, police department. I'm sure they get a lot of people quote, quote, psychics and people they don't know about. Um, so it probably didn't even go anywhere. So um, I hope they can resolve this, and I hope that they can resolve it soon. And I believe it needs to be resolved because it needs to happen in this dispensation. So thank you, and sorry about my dog rolling around. So have a great day, you guys. And I just am going to say my favorite thing again. Peace. Take care, have a lovely day, and a lovely life.